Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is one uh, in a kind of a series I've been making sort of unofficially for the last little, you know, couple of years, comparing the different nib sizes from different pens. The pens I'm looking at today are the Pilot Kakuno pens. Now, before we get started, these nibs are very similar to those that come in the Pilot Metropolitan. Also, the Plumix, the uh, Prera, a bunch of sort of pens. And so I have done a comparison of the Pilot nibs in the Metropolitan before, but what I wanted to do today was show these three Kakuno pens, and obviously uh, these are completely fresh, unopened pens. I'll put them on a bit of an angle there so we don't get the glare. Um, just so you know what to expect, you know, when you pick up one of these particular pens, because uh, the Kakuno is a is a very unique little pen, one I love. As I said, I have three here, three different versions, the um, extra fine, fine and medium nibs, uh, and showing just a couple of the different colour options. There's also uh, some sort of pastel sort of coloured ones with white bodies and things like that, which are uh, very nice. One of the reasons I love these pens is I think these are a great pen uh, for kids, and the, you can tell by the packaging that they're kind of aimed a little bit in that market. Um, these retail for uh, in the US about thirteen fifty. You can find them at a lot of retailers, or twenty four ninety five Australian. So even the convict tax there bumping the price up a little more than you know the conversion rate. When I've inked these up, I'm going to put the cartridge that comes with each of these pens in the pen. Um, I'll do some, like, specs and things like that, and a little size comparison. Um, as I said, you can put the nibs uh, from the Plumix and those kinds of pens in here, so it does give you the option for a couple of those uh, stub-style calligraphy nibs uh, that they do. Um, but these are the nibs that are currently, here in Australia at least, available on the Kakuno. So, uh... I'll open up these bad boys, ink them up, and then we'll uh, do some writing. Well, I have inked up these three pens now, uh, and I'm going to do a writing sample with both of them, just to give a sense of what you can expect from the line and the line width. But first, let's just look at this in comparison to Alami Safari uh, and a Pilot Metropolitan, because I think they are both pens um, that people use as you know references and also um, that people often use as first pens. You can see it's a little smaller than both. Uh, it's got similarities in terms of, well, firstly, the nib with the Metropolitan, uh, but is a, a, a similarities with the Lamy being the fact that it's got this sort of um, faceted body uh, and it's an all plastic pen, whereas the Metropolitan is metal. Uncapped. You see, it stands up fairly well alongside both pens. It's not a small pen. It's nothing like the Pereira. The Pereira is much smaller. Uh, but it is, you know, like, it's not a huge pen either. Another similarity we see here now with the, the Lamy, it's slightly different, of course, but the Lamy has the sort of um, triangular grip designed to assist in your, you know, handwriting. The Kakuno also has sort of, like, guides on the grip section as to where to hold the pen. It is designed, I suppose, in that way, uh, to younger writers uh, or less experienced fountain pen writers to help guide their grip of the pen uh, for easier writing. All three pens posted now, we see it once again in a similar position uh, in terms of the size, slightly bigger than the Metropolitan, slightly smaller than the Safari. Now, I do have to say, and I will say now, while this is an all plastic bodied pen, there is something you cannot do, and that is eyedropper the pen. Eyedropper being filling this entire barrel uh, with ink. There are a number of pens that you can do that with, uh, such as things like the uh, Kaweco Sport. You cannot do this with the Kakuno. And why? Well, it's got holes in the end. This pen is designed for younger writers, but is not limited to younger writers. I'm going to stress that because I use these pens. I've had Kakunos for years and I really enjoy them. Um, but an all-plastic body, holes in the cap, holes in the barrel, designed so that you can't choke if you swallow them, basically. Like, that's one of the reasons. If you swallow this cap, there's holes in it. You can still breathe um, while they fish it out. Um, good little roll stop on the cap. Yeah, stuff like that. It's a simple pen. It's lightweight. It's plastic. The colours are often designed in, for children, even things down to the nibs. You've got a little smiley face um, on the medium and the fine, and then on the extra fine here, 
Uh, you have a little smiley face with its tongue out. So they are very definitely pens designed um, for younger or younger minded people. Let's now uh, check out some size uh, specifications now for the Kakuno. I'm going to start with weight because this is a very light pen. Um, it is 11 grams, 7 in the body and 4 in the cap. You can post it, the balance remains the same. It's light, it's easy to use, it's great for smaller hands. Lengthwise, we're looking at 131 when it is capped, 127 when it is uncapped, and 159 when it is posted. So it's a good length. And then the grip section is around the 10 uh, to 11 millimeter mark, depending on where you grip it. So good size comfortable. Um, I should have said earlier, as I said, these pens came with a um, with a cartridge each. Uh, the pen can take a converter, a pilot converter, but if you want to use the, ca the cartridges, cartridges are great for convenience and all of that, but you can also refill them once they're empty. So don't waste them. Once they're emptied, clean them out, and then you can fill them with your favourite ink, and then you can use a pilot Kakuno with whatever ink you want to use. Time to do some writing now. Um, here I have Rhodia 80 gram paper, so we'll get the sense of how smooth the nib is. But this is the 5 grid, 5 millimeter grid uh, paper. So we'll also see just the difference in the line width and have something to go by. So we'll start here with the pilot. Kakuno. This is the extra fine. And it is very fine. I was just say the ink in all of these is the Pilot Black cartridge that came with them. Okay, so the extra fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of lines like that. And I'll do that with each of the pens next to it so we can get a, sense, a very good side-by-side -side sense. Now, it is a extra fine. These are Japanese nibs. These are going to be much finer than say Lamy nibs. Lamy is German company. Western nibs or European nibs tend to be one notch uh, broader than the Japanese equivalent. So this is a very fine, extra fine nib. Um, you can see there on the on the grid it is very very fine. Not super wet, wouldn't expect from an extra fine. It's not putting a whole lot of ink down on the page. Next, we move to the fine, which I have here in the grey uh, body and cap pen. So you can hear already, it's not as scratchy. It's a broader line, of course. It's actually putting down a considerable amount more ink. Um, but it is, you can see it is a is a is a definitely a, a more broad line there. So that is the fine nib, and then the final nib I have is the medium, which is in the grey with the red cap. So this is acting much more like a standard medium. It's actually very smooth. It's a very pleasant pen to write with. Um, and oh, I smudged that at the top there. That's okay. Let's still get a sense of it. Now, if we look at the three lines directly next to each other, you can see that unlike other brands like Kaveco or Lamy, where there can, tends to be not a huge amount of difference between extra fine through to fine and into medium, you can see definite difference here with the Pilot nibs. They take great care in their sort of finer nibs and these aren't their higher end nibs either. Um, as I said, this is the same kind of nib that comes on the um, Pilot Metropolitan here. Uh, and it's a good nib. It's a very, very good nib, and the extra fine and the fine are very fine. Um, and so you do, they do take good care in actually providing nibs that write very, very well. And if these pens are designed for children, um, then it actually is a very good introduction 
uh, for people to fountain pens, and this is actually one of those pens. I do suggest uh, for first time fountain pen users, um, because it does, it is pilot, so it is going to be, there's a high chance it's going to work well, they are reliable. It's also going to be one of those pens that you are, you know, aren't going to spend a whole lot of money on, uh, and if it gets them into the hobby, they can then decide to move on to a Metropolitan or a Lamy or a Kaveco or something like that that's just a little bit more expensive, but also uh, can perhaps give them a little bit more variety or choice in what they use. But there is absolutely, as I said, absolutely nothing wrong with the Pilot Kakuno. I've been using them. Uh, I gift them. I find them to be wonderful pens. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offsage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. It's your support that makes this channel possible, so thank you for watching and uh, thank you for supporting it. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.